Hey folks, Mac T and I'm back and I thought maybe I'd do a summary vehicle of how much it actually cost me in parts to rebuild the entire front suspension on my 2011 Ford Edge. Folks were asking me, I'm not going to give parts numbers out at this point. I'll have a lot of them uh, put out in the video so you can see in the video. But this is really a summary vi video of the parts that I did put in and what it cost me as a DIYer to do it myself without going to a garage. So I thought I'd go over the parts, what they were, the names of them, and then what I paid for them uh, on my own tally, and then we can see how much it actually cost me to rebuild the entire front end at 287,000 miles on this 2011 Ford Edge. So without further ado, I'll start racking up the total right up here that's right you'll see the numbers popping up as I go and uh, we'll follow along and see what the grand total is actually going to come out to be so let's start out first of all the suspension rebuild was the Moog tie rods I needed two of those and they were $27.59 each ding Moog LCA that's right, I used one Moog lower control arm and that cost $73.79. Ding. Then I used one Detroit Axle LCA and that cost me $58. Ding. Then we had the Motocraft strut mounts. Needed two of those and they are $41.40 each. Ding. And the KYB strut right side was ninety dollars and thirty seven cents ding and the left side was ninety dollars and twelve cents go figure ding and let's see steering knuckles needed two of those and they were one hundred and thirteen dollars and seventy nine cents ding and let's see SKF wheel hub kits Needed two of those, and they were $107.79 times two. Ding. And let's see. Strut bumpers were $12.35. That's right. $12.35 each times two. Ding. And let's see. Dust shields. Bought two dust shields. And those were running, let's see. $15.51 each times two, ding. And let's see, lower seats, that's right, for the struts. Lower seats, needed two of those at $12.05 each times two, ding. And let's see, Moog coil spring set. I got lucky, I got them as an add-on for $8 for the set. Bonus, ding. You, I think I saw them on sale now for $22 for a set. So if you keep it looking for Amazon and searching, you could probably find them for a good deal. I got really lucky. Uh, but otherwise, I've seen them as high as $88. So, you know, it varies. Uh, splash Shields needed one for the right side. And it was $56.17. Ding. Needed one for the left side. I can't figure this out, and they're both identical. But the left side is $32.68 for that left side. So, ding. Uh, I don't know why lefts and right struts, other parts, are more than others. So, I don't know if it's because of car crashes, what it is. But that's what it ended up being. The alignment. Because after you get done doing all this work, you got to get an alignment done. I went to Tires Plus and got me alignment done for $159.59 for a three-year alignment. I can go back anytime I feel like I need to, which I figure I will after I put a few miles on Lou to get things settled down. Then I'll go ahead and uh, have it checked again to make sure everything's in good shape. But the alignment was $159. The garage that I use charges me per hour, and I had video and everything else going there. But I figured I did a lot of work, and I got a lot out of it. So the lift cost me, and, and uh, I think a couple other shop things that I bought, was well, spray cleaners and stuff, uh, that came out to $107 
for me to take and use that lift while I was doing the work. Had I not been videoing everything, I probably would have had lesser amount because I actually spent two days there rather than just one, which I could have got everything done in you know five hours, I figure. But that's what it costs. Then we're not counting in the Taco uh, Bell run and the pizza run for lunch when I was doing the work and any other things that I happened to be eating while I was there. But uh, did think about the ice cream, Little Dairy Cream is a treat, so you could add that on to miscellaneous supplies. But overall, the grand total for all this work was, drum roll please, yes, $1,000. $350.68. That's for just the parts. It does not count shipping, nor does it count any taxes or anything else that was involved in this, folks. This was just the cost. So you could figure you added, you know, in Iowa, it's 7% sales tax. So you add 7% on top of that. Uh, you're looking at another, say, 100 bucks you know, roughly to add on to it, make it closer to 1500 then you add the uh, uh, shipping fees. We're probably looking at 1600 easy to get all these parts because I ordered them from various sources such as Amazon Rock Auto, Tasca Auto Parts, and even a few on miscellaneous websites throughout the time that I was doing it. I gathered these parts up over a period of, say, 8 to 10 months, uh, I did not buy them all at once. So my whole force behind this for you all to understand, if you know you got to do work, buy your parts ahead of time. Plan. And I planned. And luckily for me, I bought those steering knuckles. And guess what? Those steering knuckles was what saved me. Because those steering knuckles, like I said, were $113.79 each. But I took one of the old knuckles and tried to press the bearing out. And by golly, you'll see it in the video, you know, maybe in a video. I don't know if I videotaped it because it, you know, video recorded it rather. Uh, it, the bearing stuck inside the hub. It would have taken me hours of fiddling with those things, trying to get the bearings out. And, and they were so rusty and nasty anyway after nearly 300,000 miles of use. I made the call early on to replace the uh, knuckles and go with new. So I pre-assembled them as you'll see in the video that uh, is coming out soon or is already out by the time you see this that uh, I think it was a good call to buy new knuckles. That, that $200 saved me hours and hours of frustration and to me that was well worth it. So if you got a car like the Ford Edge or any other car that has a bearing in it like that uh, sometimes you got to look at the age and how many miles and say, hey, it might be worthwhile just buying the new knuckle, assembling it. And I will say by pre-assembling that knuckle uh, and the struts and everything else, that made the job go by faster. Because the day before, I went in and pre-assembled everything. And then when they came to the install, all I had to do is grab the part and bolt it up. It was ready to go. So uh, you can add on the pre-assembly times onto what I did and the shop fees probably reflect that in that aspect because uh, it was probably closer to $140 for shop fees if you want to include the pre-assembly time. So, uh, you know, it, 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 it adds up. $1,600 is what I'm going to estimate total for a DIY full suspension uh, replacement on your Ford Edge if you want to go that route. So, you know, I reuse my uh, sway bar links because they're Moogs and they're the problem solvers. They came right off and right back on like they're supposed to. So I had no problems with that. Uh, didn't replace the axle or anything of that nature uh, because it's still good. It's not giving me problems. And uh, basically just the lower control arms and every part I listed is what I replaced drove it it is quiet and I put out a video in the Facebook group where you could hear the before and the after as far as suspension and the wheel bearings and other issues that went on with it and you can notably tell the difference in the driving and I'll put it at the end of this video so you guys can see what I'm talking about uh, as far as the noticeable difference in the operation of the vehicle as far as the sounds and everything else so it was well worth the effort and I will put it on a 350 mile test drive tomorrow morning and afternoon so we'll get to give a good shakedown run 
on what's going to happen and uh, you know hopefully everything works out right. It's running smooth now and that's really what I'm aiming for. So this is Mac T. Remember join up Mac T Ford Edge on YouTube and also on Facebook. Join the best and number one Ford Edge Facebook on the internet and also make sure that uh, you know you take and listen to the Band of One and their great music. And my feet hit the floor today. And I'm having a great day. And I want you to have a great day. And Mercy Grill's got a couple one-liners for you.